All right, what's up everybody? Welcome to uh, another Honey Hole Angling video. Today we have a fly tying quick tip, and it's how to turn your old used materials into dubbing. So right here, this is all pseudo hair that Gabe used for one of our fly tying videos to tie a redfish crack. It was left over from this fly right here from the tail. There's a lot of wasted material when you use pseudo hair, and this is all the extra fiber left over that we didn't use. But instead of throwing it away, we could turn it into fly tying materials by creating our own dubbing. You can also use your animal hair and you know trim your cat and use whatever you want to make your own dubbing. But I also have some ice dubbing. This is great stuff to make your own dubbing, but it's also good for fly tying. So if you have some pearl on your desk, you can turn it you know, into almost, it's good in almost any kind of dubbing because it's just a pearl white color. So what you also need is an old coffee grinder. So if you have an old one that you can donate to fly tying materials, then that's great. My wife's giving me a weird look. Um, or I'll just link a, I'll just link a old like a cheap coffee grinder on Amazon that you guys can use. But just an old coffee grinder that you don't use anymore. And basically, what you're gonna, all you're gonna do, is take your coffee grinder, put your material in, and then we're gonna take some of our UV. Uh, pearl eye stubbing and we're gonna sprinkle it in that's probably enough less is more to start with the flash and you can always add more later and then we're just gonna coffee grind it now the one thing I've noticed by doing this a couple times is that you don't want to hold the button down you need to do short quick strokes otherwise it's gonna twist it up so um, we're gonna just do some quick short strokes to mix it up And then we'll take it out and take a look at it. And this is actually really well mixed together. Um, the flash is like evenly mixed within that dubbing. You can see there's a couple little spots where it twisted like right here. And that's just using the coffee grinder. So you can either pull those out and trash them. Um, but we have a nice big clump of dubbing here. Now that we can use a tied trout flies or bass flies or you guys can get creative with it. Um, and the best way to store them is just to take a small Ziploc bag like this right here and just throw it in there. And then whenever you, you can take a Sharpie and write on here what it's a mix. So this would be pseudo hair and UV pearl eye stubbing. And then if you use a lot of it and run out, you can make more, you can trial it. You can write what type of flies you use it on. So that way you can remember what you have here and how you've used it. So hope this helps you guys out. And uh, I'll link everything in the description below. And we appreciate you watching our videos. And we'll see you all in the next fly tying video.